Hello there lovely people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'll be doing two, rep two episodes for you. One's going to be an individual review, other's going to be a list. So uh, let me start with the individual review. This is a fragrance I was looking for, for again sometimes. You know there are some fragrances which are not readily available in your country sometimes but you see some reviews and you see it's compared with something that's discontinued. Always uh, want to try that, right? So the fragrance today I have is from Ted Lapidus. You can tell from title it's going to be Altamir or Altamir. This fragrance right here, okay, I bought it recent times and this is a test on it, but there is a fault of this bottle or the presentation, which is why you see the juice missing, which is why I passed it to Deccan bottle that I have in Bangladesh page. So I'm going to spray from this because this one, the sprayer is faulty and the bottle is leaking. So uh, as you can tell, if it's a test on it, usually you don't get a full presentation, you just get a bottle and like a white box, which I threw away already. Uh, so. I got this from one of our brothers here in Bangladesh, uh, Brother Rico. I bought another fragrance a few days back. Uh, like uh, I think it was also, he brings sort of like unusual, uncommon perfumes which are not sold in Bangladesh. So he bought me Animal Animal, which I was looking for for a long time, Altamir, and the gem. So even though I have some, uh, I'm not satisfied with the presentation because probably it's a factory uh, a fault or something, but it's not a big deal but it leaks you know the whole bottle gets nasty so anyway so this fragrance is compared to this perfume which i have a bottle of like it's like a finished bottle basically of gautier square which is like this much i just sprayed once and i have like maybe a couple of more sprays left with the dark, dark, dark juice so this one is hard very hard to find they used to come in like uh, two bottles as well like two 50 ml bottles and i think this was market tours uh, unisex this bottle is remained with me someone gave it to me I uh, think a couple of years back, uh, we are not in touch anymore, but he gave me this bottle after I did the review. He said it's finished, you can keep the bottle. So I can compare it, thankfully. So let's give you the Ted Lapidus review. I think uh, Mr. Rico, he also did review this in Bengali in his channel. Please check it out. So a lot of talk, a lot of intro. Let's see what you get. So as I told you, this bottle, I don't have a box of, but you can tell these bottles look very gorgeous and the juice color is very eye-catching okay it's got this beautiful orange color juice you know i have a thing for color i don't know why but i sometimes buy fragrances because they look so appealing Karl lagerfeld classic and the classic uh, fall fragrance uh, this one has uh, 125 ml juice in it which is very good and as you guys know ted lapidus i reviewed few fragrances but not that many but the main one is ted lapidus purum the uh, lapidus for men uh, that one is a powerhouse beast Kind of got this pineapple very complex nose breakdown but this is a polar opposite of that this is very not loud uh, close to skin humble and a sweetheart kind of a unisex offering for me this again is unisex so the main problem with this perfume right here is that i'll spray it and you'll see i i'll get my hands messy but check take a look at this prayer okay this is what this does uh, squirts okay and uh, I will tell you, this is not a pleasant experience because this one is not an application. Sometimes it's coarse, it, a lot of juice comes out, but this one is leaking from the head. You know, it's like the sprayer is broken. So when I try to spray, the whole bottle becomes like messy. And then I just decanted it, my whole bed, everything got messy. So I'm not happy about the sprayer, but this is a factory uh, fault. It's not the seller's problem because he doesn't know uh, that would be, you know, like this. The bottle basically was unsprayed. So beautiful bottle, built-in atomizer, I believe. The other bottles would be better sprayer. Hopefully you get a better one. So this reminds me some of the Dolce & Gabbana Velvet. I think forgot the name, but more expensive line. It looks like that heavy glass. Really like it. This top part is plastic. So this one is a release of 2007 or 17. I think 7, yeah. And uh, it has been in the market for some time. Uh, but the Deccan bottle, I'll spray. I have it on my hand. Dry down. This Deccan bottle has sprayer. Is okay. Okay. This is good sprayer, good distribution. So let that settle. And I also have the Gautier Square here. Uh, I sprayed it like uh, about 15-20 minutes back. So it reached sort of like a dry down. So when you talk about Ted Lapidus, why am I interested in this? Because I like kind of like this uh, orange blossom, neroli kind of fragrances, which is my favorite. A little bit of warmth, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of a fall winter vibe that you can wear. And I do like fragrances like uh, like bit sweet. You know, I like bit sweet fragrances, like sometimes lavender note. A little bit of tonka bean this one has tonka bean but not lavender so i get from this perfume they mentioned the note of pineapple which i was very interested in i can tell you i hardly get any pineapple from this 
there's a fruity sweet note like a candy like but it's more like an orange okay candied orange if you smell this up top there's a citrus like a lemon orange combo perhaps hint of pineapple but it's not a pineapple like aventus or some of the other uh, pineapple heavy perfumes but it's a nice little sweet opening but not too sweet which is really nice and this fragrance doesn't change so much it becomes sort of like a vanillic dry down with a hint of they say vetiver and uh, think tonka bean tonka bean yeah this there but it's not as sweet as many of the other sweet offerings so i think this fragrance the performance i'll tell you what i got from wearing because it's warm right now in bangladesh it didn't last that long two to three hours it was completely gone but you know like a faint dry down after three hours but all in all like three to four hours you can say if it's good condition winter perhaps it will last four to five hours but it's not going to be a beast i feel i reckon it's not going to be a beast which is good because makes it wearable i think you can pull this off in the summertime also if you have ac thing going on ac condition uh, climate control zone you can get away wearing this it has this kind of like a waxy candle like vibe when you burn a candle give this gives you that warmth you know like vanilla a little bit of orange orange blossom neroli and tonka basically that's it is there anything boozy in it i don't get anything boozy but it feels like a chamomile flowers okay i don't know it feels like that it feels like a floral mild honeyish you know like if you remember fragrances like this one cartier i forgot the name of this fragrance lonval Lon, lonval or lenval okay this reminds me of that one but that one is very honey based and the fragrance it reminds me of seriously is givenchy spy but this is a boozy sugary note so i like to bring everything together to give you a mental picture if you like the fragrances like those you know gautier square okay the comparison between gautier square and this one uh, if they smell similar yes the fragrance here let me hold the bottle uh, this one also looks like Weissel tuxedo isn't it <laughs> so anyway this one feels like a shadow of the gautier square for me the gautier square uh, the opening top note is off it's gone after so many years but the dry down i can smell it it's a lot more intense it reminds me of uh, jean paul gautier classic you know same house and then the powdery like sweetness of orange blossom this one is a lot more intense compared to this this is a lot more wearable like let's say edc version of this this is what i feel like this one is good for winter it got this really nice vanilla uh, orange blossom powderiness this one also got but mild powder so don't worry about it if you like uh, if you're worried about the sweetness and thickness or the powderiness this is less powdery more fruity so this is a nice little, little balanced perfume and i really like the orange aspect of it it's more like orange than orange blossom so the ted lapidus name you know you'd be disappointed because ted lapidus like something like roomba or ted lapidus purom or some other one you know like lapidus for like the ted lapidus black edition those are supremely beastly but this one uh it's a shame the juice color being so beautiful and potent this one doesn't uh, push as much the projection is also not that great but all in all i'm not disappointed because i did not pay more than 30 dollars for it it's around uh you can say like less than 30 dollars here because of course 19 dollars 19 pounds in uk that translates plus some profit of course but 125 mil i'm happy only thing the sprayer kind of sucks it's horrible that if i even tilt it like this maybe it will leak the whole bottle gets nasty so maybe they should bear put i took it off to decan once and the thing is like that the sprayer is very cheap quality very very it's like it's a shame they should put even if it's a 10 dollar fragrance you can put a decent atomizer in there you know because it's a shame because beautiful juice some people may get turned off never will use it but overall altamir i would not say it's a straight up alternative to gautier square it's just uh, people say that but I think it's a good fragrance on its own. Uh, it's a nice little perfume. It reminds me of Dolce & Gabbana, the one, the, how it works, but it's soft, okay? And it's unisex, floral, uh, kind of like orange, vanilla, and Tonka-based perfume, okay? And it's very nice, cozy experience. It's like having a nice little drink, sitting there, not trying to impress anybody. You're enjoying your fragrance. You like your little, you know, uh, how to say, um, that, that aura of yours, you know, around you, like, like where you're sitting, it will create like a nice little uh, aura. So uh, people come near you, they will give you a hug and stuff. They will smell you, but it doesn't really fill up a room. Okay. So overall, performance-wise, it's I'll give it like a, I would say 5.5 to 6, not more than that. Price point, if you can get it under $25, it will be good price. And if you can get cheaper, it's much better. But uh, bottle presentation, really lovely. Uh, smell is very nice. Wish a little, little bit more intense, but all in all, not a bad fragrance. So overall the rating for this perfume like how much do i like it 
I cannot say I like it as much as Givenchy Spike, even juice color is similar. Uh, I think I'm going to wear this in upcoming fall and winter. And I think this fragrance will be really cozy and a little warm. Remind me of Parfum de Marly. Uh, what's that fragrance? The silver bottle. The similar to Arm of Craze, right? Uh, Parfum de Marly Pegasus, you know, but that Pegasus, that vanilla and then that the bitter almond, it's sweeter. Okay, so you can say uh, it's similar in that family. So overall, the rating of this perfume, despite the performance is weak, sprayer is horrible, I'll give it 8 out of 10, solid 8 out of 10. Good fragrance. If you want to collect a bottle, you can contact Brother Rico in Bangladesh and overseas in UK, I think you can get this event for 15 pounds if you're lucky. So check it out. Altamir, really nice fragrance. Uh, one of the more uh, bucket list now finally completed. And thanks to one of the brothers from India. Uh, he re recommended me this fragrance. He's like, finally you have it, right? So hopefully uh, you enjoy the review. It's not a must have. Okay, I'll tell you one thing. It's not a must have. It's a fragrance you can collect if you get it for cheap. And you will enjoy it, but it will not really leave like a huge like a impact, like, like say something like Fahrenheit or Diorome Intense would do. But it's a nice little fragrance to have in your arsenal. Nice fragrance collection, budget uh, friendly for fall and autumn. It is not going to you, hurt your uh, bank. Okay, so I hope you get the uh, idea. You can blind buy this, you will not be really disappointed. It's not wow, it's not super disappointing. It's like in the middle. Okay, so thanks for watching. Take care and... One more video, then we'll upload this. Take care.